everybody, my name is Wes, and in this video we'll go over oral liquid medication exercises. You will learn a method to get every single dosage calculation right for nursing school and NCLEX, so let's jump into it. The patient is receiving his prescribed clobazen from the nurse. The prescription is for 20 mg POBID. The label on the medication, which the nurse removes, reads Clobazen 10 mg per 1 ml suspension. How many milliliters will the nurse give the patient? First, set up the formula desired over half times quantity. Desire is the dose that the provider ordered to the patient. Half is what you have on hand, and quantity will probably be in capsules, tablets, or milliliters. There is a memory trick to remember this formula. Just imagine a duck on a horse quacking. Now, add the unit answer, milliliters, because the question is asking how many milliliters will the nurse give the patient. Now that the formula is ready, we need to plug in the numbers. Start with half and quantity because they are usually given to you and they come together. So for this problem is 10 milligrams per one milliliter. For desired, you will plug in the doctor's order, 20 milligrams. Since both units on top and bottle are the same milligram, we can start calculating it. 20 milligrams divided by 10 milligrams times one milliliter. Milligram cancels out and the answer is 2 milliliters. You are getting a patient ready for surgery. Before transporting the patient to the pre-surgical area, you have been instructed to administer meperidine 100 mg IM. The medication you have on hand is shown below. What is the total volume of medication you will give the patient? Record your answer using one decimal place. First, set up the formula desire over half times quantity. Add the unit answer milliliters because the question is asking about total volume. Now that the formula is ready, we need to plug in the numbers. Start with half and quantity, 75 milligrams per one milliliter. For desired, you plug in the doctor's order, 100 milligrams. Since both units on top and bottle are the same milligram, we can start calculating it. 100 milligrams divided by 75 milligrams times 1 milliliter. Milligrams cancel out. The answer is 1.33 milliliters. Now, round it to one decimal place. When you round to the first decimal place or to the nearest tenth, the number in the hundredth point place will determine whether you round up or down. If the hundredth digit is a number between 5 and 9, round up to the nearest whole number. If it is a number between 0 and 4, you would round down by keeping the tenth place the same. The hundredth digit is 3 in this answer, so you will round down by keeping the tenth place the same. The final answer is 1.3 milliliters. A prescription for a medication in the form of an oral suspension is written by the doctor. According to the prescription, 100 mg should be used orally every 4 hours as needed for discomfort. You are giving a bottle with the label 50 mg per 4 ml. How many teaspoons will you give per dose? First, set up the formula desire over half times quantity. Add the unit answer teaspoons per dose because the question is asking how many teaspoons will you give per dose. Now that the formula is ready, we need to plug in the numbers. Start with half and quantity, 50 mg per 4 ml. For desired, you plug in the doctor's order, 100 mg. Since both units on top and bottle are the same mg, we can start calculating it. 100 mg divided by 50 mg times 4 ml. Milligram cancels out and the answer is 8 milliliters. However, the answer needs to be in teaspoons per dose, so we need to convert. You need to know that 1 teaspoon is equal to 5 milliliters. Now, we will convert milliliters to teaspoons. 
8 milliliters divided by 5 milliliters times 1 teaspoon. Milliliter cancels out and the final answer is 1.6 teaspoon per dose.